Today we are going to learn about simple interest. What's the formula to find the simple interest? So simple interest can be taken as I is equals to PIN. So what is this I P I N? Let's learn about this. I is the amount of interest paid and this is calculated in dollars, the amount which is paid. N is the number of periods for which the interest is paid. So it's the number of periods for which the interest is paid. P is the principal amount of the money invested or borrowed. So this is also calculated in dollar. Okay, so invested and borrowed. Small i, which is the rate of interest for the same period as n. Period is basically the number of years, months or weeks or anything. So rate of interest for the same period as n expressed as a decimal. And a is equal to p plus i. What is a in here now? The a is the account balance. This is also calculated in dollar. Now, suppose we have a question that Sarah invests 2000 for 3 years at a simple interest rate of 5% per annum. So, per annum is given to us. Suppose we have to calculate the interest earned. Now, how we can calculate the interest earned? The capital I, we need to find small n, which is 3 years given to us. P, the principal amount, 2000 given to us. And interest rate, which is 5% per annum given to us. Now, change this percentage into years. That will be 5 divided by 100. So, which is equal to 0 0.05. Now, use the formula I is equal to PIN as we know that. Just put the values. P is 2000 times I, which is 0 0.05 times N, which is 3 years. So, I will be equal to by multiplying these terms, we get 300. Now, in this way, we can find the interest. Now, if we have been asked that calculate the balance in the account after three years. Now, the total account balance, which is A. And A is equal to P plus I, the principal amount plus the interest. So, principal amount is 2000 interest we have calculated. So, it is 300. So, it is 2300. So, in this way, we can find the interest earned and the account balance. Now, suppose... After three years, Sarah decide to reinvest. Again, if the person decide to reinvest the money for a further period of time, let's take 18 months. At a simple interest rate, now there is a change in the interest rate and suppose we have taken 6%. Determine the balance after the further 18 months. So now again, we need to calculate capital I. Okay. And N is given to us 18 months. So months need to change in years. We know that. How many months in a year? Which is 12. So we need to divide 18 divided by 12. So 12 months in a year, we need to divide this term. So therefore, one year, we can write this as 12 months. So we need to divide that term 18 divided by 12. We can cut this one, simplify this one. We know that fractional term. 6 3s are 18, 6 2s are 12. This can be taken as 3 by 2, which is equal to half, one and a half year, 1.5 years. We can write this as. Now let's calculate. Now we have already got that the principal amount is 2300. Okay. And small i is equal to 6% per annum, which is the interest rate they have given to us. Now we need to change this to 100 percentage sign. So we already know when there is a percentage sign after any number, you need to change it. So we need to divide it by 100. We get 0 0.06. Use the formula I is equals to PIN. So just remember I is equals to PIN. Very easy. 2300 P times I 0 0.06 N which is 1.5 years which we have calculated. After multiplying, we get 207.00 or 207 can be the answer as well. Now the total account balance. We know the formula A is equals to P plus I. P is the principal amount. I is the interest rate P 2300 plus 207. 
which we have calculated at the top and we got 2507. So in this way we can say that the balance which is after the invested amount we have again invested which is the reinvest okay so the reinvested amount is we have reinvested for how many months 18 months don't forget you need to change the months into the year and one year has 12 months that's why we have divided at the top so this amount is 2507 so in this way we can solve these questions